If a fly line gets really dirty and the microscopic pores on its surface start to fill with muck, simply wiping the line down with a cloth and soapy water won't get the job done. If your line is not floating the way it should or has become more difficult to mend, this down deep dirt is most likely the culprit. Although not absolutely necessary, it's a good idea to complete stage one of the cleaning process prior to performing stage two. So at the end of stage one, leave the line in the bucket as opposed to putting it back on the reel. The key to a good stage two cleaning is to use a microabrasive cleaning cloth that will remove poor deep dirt but not rough up the surface of the fly line. Rio's Wonder Cloth is specifically designed for this purpose. Just fold a wonder cloth around the fly line and begin stripping the line through it and into the second bucket. Reorient the wonder cloth occasionally to use different parts of the cloth. Also, moistening the wonder cloth can help speed the cleaning process. When you've stripped the line all the way to the leader end, reverse the flow and strip it back into the other bucket. If you're still seeing dirt coming off onto the cloth, keep repeating the cycle until you are pulling the line through clean. One of the great things about Rio Wonder Claws is they can be thrown in the laundry with a load of whites and be used over and over again. Now, if you've kept the order of things correct, the line should go back on the reel without getting tangled up. This type of cleaning really should be done every five or six times you use the line. If you decide you'd like to carry the cleaning process through stage three, leave the line off the reel and in the bucket. Stage three is as much about applying a finish to a fly line as it is about cleaning it. It should be done after every eight to 10 fishing excursions and at least once a season. Again, it's a good idea to perform stages one and two before moving on to three. Rio's Agent X fly line dressing is specially formulated to lightly coat and lubricate the surface of fly lines and to give them a slick, clean finish. It works extremely well for this final stage, but it should only be used on floating lines, not with full sinking or sink tip lines. Although fly fishing specific line dressings other than Agent X can be used for stage three, the use of automotive products is not recommended as they have a tendency to damage the finish on many modern fly lines. A clean wonder cloth works especially well for applying Agent X. First, give the Agent X bottle a good shake and then place a few drops on the cloth. Fold the cloth around the line and begin stripping line into the second bucket to leave a light coating of Agent X on the line as you go. This is one of the places where using the buckets really comes in handy, as the Agent X needs at least five minutes to dry. If the line was placed directly on the floor or ground before the Agent X was completely dry, the line would invariably pick up dirt, dust, grime, and pet hair, all the things you're doing your best to get rid of. When you reach the tip of the line, once again, place it on the outside of the second bucket where you can easily find it later. If you have the time, allow the Agent X to dry for a full 24 hours to get the most benefit from it. After the Agent X has had time to dry, pick up the tip end of the line and use a clean wonder cloth to polish the line as you strip it back into the first bucket. If you've done it correctly, you can then wind the line back on your reel without tangles. Beyond the three-stage cleaning process, there are several things that should be avoided in order to extend the life of your fly line and to ensure optimal performance. Sunscreen, insect repellents containing DEET, and aerosols will cause all modern fly lines with PVC coatings to deplasticize or dry out and crack prematurely. Avoid having your fly line come in contact with these products at all times. Heat will also accelerate the deplasticizing process, so avoid leaving your fly line on the dash or in the trunk of a car.